This is Ben Roman, head coach of Greenville Baseball. Um, talk about the 21 season. Um, had a lot of kids coming out this year to the program. A lot of them were new. Um, hadn't played baseball ever and came out this year, tried out, and we're really proud of those guys. They're, they're on the JV team. Um, they worked really hard this year. I uh, did a great job of coming to practice every day, competing, learning the game, learning positions that they had never tried, doing something they had never done. Um, we're really proud of those guys for all the work they put in, um, all the growth that we saw from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, and we're really proud of how those guys came out every day to practice, um, how they went out and competed and just fought and showed what it was to be a Greenville line um, for the younger guys, and it was... Uh, we're proud of them um, for the way that they did. Uh, we're also really proud of the varsity guys. Um, a lot of them, it was their first year on varsity. Um, no varsity experience um, and with the loss of last year. Um, and the opportunity to get a lot more reps as sophomores that came out as juniors and had to jump from playing as freshmen to playing as juniors on varsity. And we're really proud of the way those guys have come out this season. Um, they've worked extremely hard during practice every day. Um, a lot of tough days of practice uh, due to the weather, just all the rain we had early in the season. Uh, we had to go indoors to practice a lot, and it's always difficult to work on some things when you're in the indoor, but they worked. They found a way to work around those problems and issues and put in the work, put in the rep, get in the reps that they needed to uh, continue to grow as baseball players and to just get better and better. Um, throughout the season, and uh, once we get, were able to get out on the field and start playing in games, um, we really saw a lot of growth from the first of the season to the end of the season, um, the way they've been able to compete. Uh, we played some really good teams in the district we're in this year, and I've watched them go out and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best teams in the state and put up a fight, and no matter what anybody said, what anybody thought, they've continued to just believe in themselves, can believe in each other, uh, fight as teammates, fight together, fight for each other, and just go out and play hard. And we've watched all season as guys have just grown and become better and better baseball players. Uh, we're really proud of the work they've put in, the growth they've made. And with all the growth they've made and continue to put in work over the summer and going into next season, uh, we really think that the group of kids that we have coming back next year on both the JV and the varsity um, can really do something special for this team going into the 2022 season. Um, really proud of the seniors we've had this year. Um, didn't have a lot of them, but the ones that we had made up um, for the numbers um, by their heart, by their dedication, by their worth ethic, um, by their leadership um, as seniors. And they were both kids that had been in the program for all four years in high school. And they have grown and developed over those four years to be leaders on the team. Uh, one of them by far is one of our best players and he can play any position on the field and it doesn't matter where you ask him to play, whether he's played there or not, he'll go out there and give you everything he's got and work, work his butt off to try to be the best that he can be at that position and that kind of leadership, that kind of work ethic, it bleeds throughout the entire program. Um, the younger kids see it, the older kids that are the same age, the year younger, they see it. So. It forces them to have to work hard, and it just is a big benefit to the program when you have kids like that. Both of them um, came to work every day, uh, never knowing what position they might be playing that day, just knowing they're going to show up, they're going to work, they're going to do their best to get better, uh, do their best to try to be a good influence and be a good teammate and be a good player and try to help us win as many games as possible. Uh, just proud of those kids, um, losing them, um, here at the end of the season is uh, not fun just because you get used to those kids, you learn to love them, um, and they become kids that you really enjoy being around, and uh, watch them playing in their last games is never fun as a coach. I'm sure it's not fun as a parent either, uh, knowing your child's playing some of his last games in high school, um, but you're also happy that he's about to graduate and get to go on to bigger and better things um, in his life. And so we're really proud of our seniors. We're about to have senior night in a few days for us. And uh, we can't wait to celebrate those seniors for everything they've done for us. And we're happy. We can't wait to see everything that they're going to do in their futures because we know they're great kids. Uh, we love them. Uh, last, I'd like to say thank you to all the parents that have been at all the games, that have 
suffer through the wind, suffer through the cold, suffer through the hot. Games being postponed, made up. Different days, Thursday games, Saturday games, Monday games, whenever we were playing. Um, Y'all came out, supported, supported the kids, supported all the kids, not just your own kids, but you supported everybody, supported the whole team. Um, as coaches, we appreciate that. We'd love to see y'all in the stands. We'd love to hear y'all cheering for our guys when they do something good. Um, y'all are part of this program, whether y'all think it or not or know it or not. Um, y'all are truly a part of this program. It, we couldn't do what we do as coaches if it wasn't for y'all. Uh, pushing your kids to play, um, making sure that they're responsible and show up to practice every day, and that they're all just sort of instilling them the kind of work and work ethic that they need to have to just take on a challenge and to keep getting better and better and just working at it every day and never being satisfied and always just working to improve. And those kids wouldn't be that way if it wasn't for parents. Um, if it wasn't for y'all and the way that y'all lead. And so we appreciate y'all. Y'all as part of this program. And we love y'all. We thank y'all. And um, here's the bigger and better things for Greenville Baseball. Hi, my name is Garrett Phillips, and I'm a senior on this Greenville Lions baseball team. And um, going into this season, we knew that there was going to be some difficulties, you know, COVID and everything else. And um, our district was going to be pretty tough. So we just set, um, we set our goals to, you know, do the best we could to get as many district wins. And starting off, it was pretty rough. We we, we just couldn't seem to uh, hit our stride, but but um, in the recent weeks, we've we felt like we've definitely pushed through, and um, we've got a few wins under our belt, which has definitely made us um, feel like a better team and brought us closer together, too. Well, personally, I've always been a catcher, and my sophomore year, I had to I had a shift, I had to play second because we had a senior catcher who was really good. And um, this year I've had to do even more different roles just because um, we graduated so many people last year. So I've, I've played outfield, catcher, um, all throughout the infield and even I've started pitching this year which I haven't done at all in high school. So I've definitely had to adapt just to um, feel like I could, you know, help the team out. My name is Caden Bowers, and I'm a junior for the Greenville Lions baseball team. I play center field, and we've had a pretty rough year starting off due to COVID. We didn't get to practice as much over the summer, and at the end of the season, we got cut off in March. We barely got to start district, so we missed a lot of improvement there. But I'd say as a whole this season, we've improved. We've got a few wins under our belt, and we're, we're gonna finish off the season, should be pretty strong, play a few tough teams, give them some sort of game, and we'll see how it goes. I would say for me, I've improved. Um, the coaching has really helped me. My hitting has improved pretty good. The fielding as a whole, at the beginning of the season, we were rough in fielding, we made a lot of errors. But I'd say, as a whole, we've cut the errors down to just a couple a game, and our hitting is just starting to pick up as the season ends. So hopefully next year we should come together. We have a lot of seniors next year, and we should be really good. Big hopes. This video has been brought to you by Juice34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.